No. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's hit the floor. No. No. I'm done. Good morning. There's blue skies. There's a Bruce in a car off to work. I am here. The children are due back this afternoon. It is a Tuesday. Tuesday, the 29th of March. It's day 454. Bye, Bruce. Have a good day. Bruce is off to work and the girls are not due back for another few hours. And I'm going to pop to the shops while I have some peace and no children. That's good. So that was mental while I was in the last shop there. The heavens opened with giant hailstones. Crazy. <clears throat> and before I left the house, I swapped out my, my jacket with my hood for this one. Oh well, I didn't get wet. It's slightly windy now. Not too bad. But now Bruce has something to open his birthday. Score. Do, 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 do. I'm singing in the rain. Just in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. <sighs> not, not far away from home now. Let's get home as the rain gets heavier. Feel home just in time. As it's really starting to come down again. Good day, I don't live too far away from town. Wow! There are many reasons I raise energy every day. And I'm doing it in 2016. When I set up Project... When I set up Project 365, when I set up Dance 365, it was about raising the energy to create a better world using the law of attraction. The more time you spend raising the energy, the more get back something that reflects the raised energy and not a depressed energy and not an energy that's stuck or finding it tough. I seem to be surrounded by so many people who are finding life really really hard just now and it is. And it's meant to be. Life is not an easy game. Life is about waking up. Life is about connecting to each other and transforming energy. It's magic. The reason why I continued to do it in 2016 is because I can't imagine my life without it. Without that commitment every single day to dance it off, to shake it out, to move my body, to not be stuck. I still feel so stuck. Not as stuck as I did, but it, it feels like moving in treacle. It feels like every step you take is really difficult. That's okay, I think. I'm pushing myself beyond every boundary I've ever had. I can't believe I'm doing this, and yet I can, because it's always been within me. But for the longest part of my life, I've been silent. If I poked my head out to speak, I'd have a panic attack in case somebody spoke back questioned me, didn't believe in me. Hmm. Well I do believe in me now and it's taken me years of work to get here. And my channel is all about showing that light every single day and I've had some really 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 tough days in the past 454 days. There are some days where I do not want to get out of bed. There are some days where I do not want to dance. Really, really, really don't want to dance. It's like, how on earth am I meant to go out there and dance today? Because right now, I want to be in bed. I don't want to be here. So, I've had those moments. Moments before you've seen me going, Hello everybody, it's time to dance and raise energy. Days where I'm crying my eyes out and it's just like, come on, I need to film this because the children have to get to bed because we have to make dinner. It's so important to understand that we're all able to have bad days. We're all able to reach out to each other when we're having the rubbish times, but to remember to share the love when we're having the good times because it is a wheel, it's a wheel of life. 
Some days are the good days and some days are the bad days. So, no matter what's happening out in the world, my plan is for my channel to be always pushing forward into the light, working through the issues that we find ourselves facing. Because you wouldn't be doing it right if you weren't facing challenges. Like any game, what would you want to play a game if you weren't being challenged to, to do something? Thank you to everybody who tunes into this channel, who subscribes, who listens. This is an open channel message. My life is out there now and I will stand there and shine my light and talk to any of you who wants to talk and share light and love and happiness and pushing forward into the new paradigm. When the website comes, which is what I should be doing right now and I'm about to do, um, you'll understand more about why I do what I do what it is that's pouring out of me, what it is that woke up within me, why I'm not afraid of you anymore, <laughs> why I love my voice, why I love myself and why I'm making this journey from doing my best and yes, the difference is boundaries big differences boundaries. Previously I did my best, I loved everybody but I didn't have healthy boundaries. Now I'm learning about healthy boundaries. I'm learning about my own self-love, I'm learning that nurturing myself is the most important thing. That my children will get nothing from me if I don't love myself. That all they'll get is something that's not love. So I'm finding every moment of not love. I'm finding every moment where I question who I am. Am I strong enough to keep going? The answer is yes. Oh, the answer is yes. So, anyway, I've been yapping at you for a wee while now. I better get on with some work. Bye bye, bye. Grandpa and Grandma are leaving. What's a mommy? The girls are back home. Did they just traumatize their grandparents? Yeah. Grandma got something though for her troubles? Maybe we're, we're still waving. Hey, where's the grandpa? Grandpa's car is turning around. Hey, we're taking it until we're moving for a minute. Come on. Maybe. Here they go. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Right, in we go. Do you know it's dinner time? Okay, let us start some dinner. When you're living in the moment, you don't tend to notice Gemma's diabetes. It's when she goes away and comes back, you're like, oh yes, that's right, I have to calculate everything, I have to weigh everything, I have to calculate all the ratios. Nah. So it's dinner time for the girls. I am working out some insulin for Gemma just now. It is pouring down out there. Not nice at all today. Bruce should be home about another hour and a half, I think. There is a bunny there, though, a spider. Well, no, I say, like, it's a type of spider, but it could be anywhere. It's out. The children are quite it's happy. It's out. Coffee. I, 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 I want to see the ones who went to the new one. They're, they're having the dinner at Disneyland today, and they're watching the Disneyland parade just now. I want to see the ones and Gemma's looking forward to watching something about the Haunted Mansion. Oh, back to normal. Bodhi requested a Mario Kart tournament with Daddy. A Mario Kart did my mom get away. Please, George, why don't you your butt? Oh, we're just trying to show you guys, because you can't really see them up here. You're kicking your butt. Outside, you can see this. Another spectacular sunset. How much you can see because, well, I'm just pointing the, the phone at the sky. But it's very beautiful. There's lots of green in the sky again for the sunset. So. Oh well. Right, okay, the
this room's a bit dark. They should put some lights on for dancing. Oh, what? There's hail in the sky. There was a lot of hail earlier. We've lost the children. They're playing Super Mario Maker just now. And I am so impressed by Bodhi. Seriously. It's like, wow. She's completed like a hard level. I am impressed at gaming. I find gaming to be a really good practice at life. If you can have the resilience to win at games, you can have the resilience to win at life. Well, it's time to dance. This is what you're competing with today. Go, Jojo! Hi, Jojo! Right, enough, enough, enough time to dance. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for day 454 of Dance 365 with the WCT. My fingers doing a bit better. Gemma's fingers doing a bit better. She hurt it last time she was dancing. Just before she danced with us before. Wonderful. All right, everybody, let's raise some energy through dance today. Check out the links in the description box below for all, lots of information. Bodhi would like her glove on. That, that's information. That's, that information is not in the description box. I'm gonna get rest for sunsets. her Super Mario Maker playing. She, she's got a level called Puzzle Rooms. All right, thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody. This is day 29 of our Fat Dad, Fat Kid. She lost fitness challenge, click. The link's below if you would like to start this challenge for yourself. Five minutes a day, pretty much, for one month. See what difference it makes to you. I'm finding I want to do even more after two months. Well, I do. I want to get even more fit. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's hit the floor. No. I'm done. Have your hips stacked. You want to have your shoulders stacked. You're going to flex your bottom foot. Point your top foot. And then we're just going to take that top leg up. And down slowly. Slowly. Super special and we totally love you. Alright, see you tomorrow. Bye!